the assembly of, of film and how it can be changed to create a different idea. Now we have a close up. Let me show what he sees. Let's assume he saw a woman holding a baby in her arms. Now we cut back to his reaction to what he sees. And he smiles. Now what is he as a character? He's a kindly man. He's sympathetic. Now, let's take the middle piece of film away, the woman with the child, but leave his two pieces of film as they were. Now we'll put in uh, a piece of film of a girl in a bikini. He looks, girl in a bikini, he smiles. What is he now? The dirty old man. He's no longer the benign gentleman who loves babies. That's the difference. That's what film can do for you. Let, let's be clear, you know, dozens of protesters are in hospital because of police violence. One has had to undergo immediate, you know, you know emergency brain okay, surgery. But just on Charles, be, I don't want to put well, words into your mouth, but you said you hoped nobody would get hurt, but you thought it was justified, did you, the sort of rocking of the car, the throwing of paint at the car? Well, I, I, I don't think it's really for me to pass comment on that. I'm, I don't think I'm going to wade in and condemn, uh, you know, violence from protesters when I, you know... The, 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 the well, shouldn't you if you're, in, if you're in charge? I mean, what, what, well, what impact do you think it has on your cause when people behave like this? Well, you know, clearly, you know, smashing things isn't an effective political critique. The important thing to, to understand is the context and why people are doing this. They're doing it because the normal processes of democratic accountability are failing them. Now, we're calling on, uh, you know, waves of non-violent direct action but, in civil But it is justified, is it? I mean, just, it is justified that it, it does articulate, it does expose and the, the, the sense of anger there, which you think is, is, is realistic and something which can be defended. Well, personally, I would never organise it, but I think it's very important to understand why it's happening. And, you know, the reason why it's happening um, is, is much more important than simply focusing on a, a series of media snippets. Tonight, pockets of students had gathered outside the Treasury building, still confined along Whitehall by the police, but still carrying on their London protest. A bus shelter was set on fire, and at the Treasury itself, one student tried unsuccessfully to batter his way through the blast-proof glass. By nightfall, police had begun to slowly disperse the marchers, a process that will last some time. This was supposed to have been a protest by students at a threefold increase in university tuition fees. But instead, it's these images of a police van being looted by fringe elements that will be remembered. It took a certain amount of courage from one young student to stand up in the face of that anger. The abandoned police vehicle comprehensively ransacked by the crowd. Riot police helmets carried off, worn as trophies by demonstrators. One officer down, police used their batons to drive back the demonstrators. Police dealt with their own engine, some officers suffering from broken limbs. It was a day of anger.